When we communicate with friends, use our bank or see our doctor, we're probably sharing data about ourselves. Data is now a fundamental part of all industries, from retail to transportation to health. The more our society and economy becomes data-driven, the more likely it is that individuals, organisations and the economy as a whole will be able to benefit. At the same time, many people say they have little knowledge or understanding of what data is collected about them or how it is used. This leads individuals, regulators, policymakers and others in the data ecosystem to perceive risks and harms to fundamental human rights and values. The question we have to ask is, how can we, as individuals, organisations, society, maximise the benefits of data in a sustainable way while minimising risks and harms? We wanted to help foster a rich, data-driven conversation around personal data, drawing on the expertise of policymakers, regulators, academics, civil society and data-driven startups. Since June 2015, we have held 21 roundtables around the world, attended by over 175 experts. Our goal was to bring together a diverse set of voices on personal data, with different skills, experiences and perspectives. The main role that uh, uh, a strategic person should have in privacy within an organization, I think, is um, to have a big picture where privacy should uh, have, um, or the place that privacy should have in the business decision process, to be able to think out of the box and uh, to be conscious that there are never perfect solutions, that you need to have something that is economically viable and that you have also an ethical business solution in place. What sometimes we see, not only in Brazil, but in other countries also, is that the governments usually don't talk with each other. What we consider the right approach for data protection is to sit together different bodies in the government, discuss this kind of matter with the society and not only one part of the society, because you have to listen to different uh, actors uh, that we have that's related to this with these data protection issues. In relation to sustainability, I believe that you know, we need to cultivate a culture that lasts long, a culture in that you know, people, including individuals and organizations, would respect each other's personal data privacy right. And this is something that I, I, I believe that you know, will ultimately you know, be the solution you know, to the apparent you know, conflict between privacy protection and uh, the advancement of uh, innovation or you know, uh, economic growth. Values-based to me as the basis for a regulatory uh, structure in how to deal with any issue, and in this case privacy, is another way of saying a cultural norming, a standardization of people that all agree this is sort of the baseline values that we're going to assume. In a low trust environment, people don't want to do business with each other. The costs of doing business rise and less business gets done. In a high trust environment, and especially relating to personal data, people are prepared to share more information and more value can come from that. Data supply chain, it's a chain. And the weakest part of the chain is strength of the global chain. And this is trust. It, just w with one weak uh, part of the chain, there is no more trust. To know your customer could also mean to sort of scale the, the, the kind of privacy you offer to your customer. The value of how data can be shared, I, I believe, is more powerful than just economic. Uh, an example that I often give is if you, as a, a parent, have been the custodian of your children's medical information, and you turn up at a hospital and you have that information and in that moment it can save your child's life, the last thing you're going to do is haggle over um, an economic exchange. It took the input of all participants to help identify key ideas that can inform best practices around creating trust, transparency and consumer control of personal data. The roundtables were just the beginning. We hope that through experimentation, research and creating spaces for positive innovation, we can continue to unlock opportunities held within the data. No one actor can do it alone. It requires the participation of stakeholders across the data-driven economy.